Yes. All right. In a couple of weeks, there's a fantastic holiday. Who knows what that holiday is? What do you think? Thanksgiving. And when Thanksgiving comes around, everybody just kind of gets all wound up about being thankful. And we're saying thanks for this and thanks for that and whatever. So I brought a thankful basket here. Now, you might be thinking there are some strange items in my thankful basket. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, let's say I was going to say thank you for this. What would I say to God? What do you think I'd say? I'd say I'm thankful for my toothbrush. Okay. What about, uh, what about a salt shaker? What would you say to God about a salt shaker? What do you think? I'm grateful for my salt shaker. Well, you know what? We're going to go through this basket pretty fast. I think there's a little bit more that we can do. Let's go back to this toothbrush. So, I'm thankful for this toothbrush because I can keep my teeth clean. There's a name on this toothbrush. I am so thankful and grateful for my friend, Dr. Lacey, who helps me keep my teeth super healthy. You know, this toothbrush... Ooh, I can feel the smooth part with my thumb, and then this part's kind of rubbery. Wow, I am so glad that I have a thumb and fingers and a hand that can hold this toothbrush, and an arm that can work, that I can brush my teeth. I'm so grateful for the colors. I love blue and white. Just think if the whole world was brown, how boring it would be. Thank you, God, for colors. Do you see where I'm going here? Instead of just saying, oh, wow. Thanks, God, for shoes. Love shoes. Thank God for crackers. Yeah. Thank you, God, for vanilla. I am so glad that I have a mouth with taste buds that I can taste vanilla. Oh, and the smell. Thank you, God, that my nose works so well that I can smell it. Oh, man, that smells good. Mm, I love vanilla. And thank you for the way it makes food taste so much better. God, I'm so glad somebody invented vanilla. Chapstick, just a little teeny thing, but oh man, God, I am so glad somebody invented chapstick. Because man, when my lips are chapped, oh, there's nothing that feels better than not chapped lips. And oh, the, oh, the peppermint smell, I can smell that, mm, I can taste it, and oh, there's so many things that we can say about things. So coming up to Thanksgiving, let's not just say, thanks God for the turkey, uh, it was good. Let's see how many things that we can be thankful for. Make a thankful basket and each day pick out something. Wow, I'm so glad for this stuffed animal because I can hug him. Look at the colors. They make me so happy. I'm so glad I have this. Oh, there are so many things that we can tell God thank you for. So let's work on that. And let's not just stop on Thanksgiving. Let's keep doing it. Every day, pick up something and see how many ways you can be thankful for it. Oh, crackers. I love crackers. I love the round shapes. I love how somebody baked those. Please bless the people that bake these crackers that I could enjoy, God. There's lots of things we can do. Let's pray. God, sometimes we just kind of forget to tell you thanks. We just kind of go, yeah. Thanks for that. That's great. And move on. Help us to each thing that we see every day. Pick two or three or five or ten. And see how many things that we can be thankful for. Because when we start doing that, we then realize how much we already have. We see how you have blessed us and provided for us. Shame on us for thinking we need more when we have so much already. And thank you, Father, from the bottoms of our hearts for the gift of your Son who loves us so much that he would die for us. Help us, God, to be super thankful today and every day. Amen.